Some real headway has been made on the high tunnel in our neighbor's yard, getting things organized to do some seed starting really soon. The low tunnel within the high tunnel idea is moving forward. And the last few days, well, a lot of infrastructure has been laid in, uh, a lot of the bits that we need to make this work. And so I took a lot of shots as we went along and I'm gonna do a walkthrough where I'm explaining step-by-step step what was done. It doesn't look like much right now, but let me give a quick overview so we're up to speed on this. We've got our water system uh, set up again, broke through the ice in the pond and set up a sol solar panel. We're gonna do that in a more thorough way, but we can now use a bilge pump on sunny days to lift water and water directly. I'll move that around as, as time goes on. But that is a nice bit of infrastructure. We went through and set up the IBC tote to be on the inside in a very simple way. And that's nice and full, has an overflow that goes to a meaningful place in the middle of the high tunnel and laid in a PEX circuit with a random length of PEX that we had laying around so we can start doing some compost extraction heat wise and then also buried this eight inch diameter perforated pipe. Thank you, Matt, if you're watching this. Uh, it was an opportunity to visit with a friend and get that instead of uh, buying it new. We, he had a whole bunch of random pieces and we're working with that. And so now the very brief overview is we've got a drainage system that allows air to be drawn off these, uh, this set of low tunnels, which we'll scan in the next day or two. There'll be a pump coming soon that will feed into that tube and pump all the hot air from this space down under uh, through this this pipe and then ultimately underneath the tank this will be insulated so all the heat will radiate up into the water and then we've got uh, two full truckloads of chicken bedding in here as hot compost with a peck circuit buried in there and that can circulate the water even more so uh, somewhat confusing to describe it that way, but I'm gonna pause here as this introduction and then switch over to uh, an overlay of describing what we've been up to with some shots as it went along. The first step was to get an area set up to start getting hot compost. We cleaned out bedding from the chicken coop and mixed it with really, really active hot compost from the areas that are feeding the hens. And of course they helped us to integrate those elements. So you can see the steam here. And we put some aged compost in as well just to get some better soil biology and some nice spots of sprouts and worms. Hens had a really lovely day helping us. Then I tracked down some pecs to stretch out through the high tunnel and figure out how to lay it in. Kind of rough sketch so that at least a little pass goes through every nook and cranny and here it is pinned down with a couple wads of compost here or there in a rough sketch form. And then we took the tubing to lay in for the heat to go underneath. Again, rough sketch laid out in the middle walkway. And here you can see starting to dig the walkway out just a little bit further so that we can lay that pipe as low as possible and the pex is off to the side out of the way. Got a hole in the ice and the solar panel set up so the bilge pump can start lifting water from the pond and flooding that central walkway. And that lets us go through and do some digging work to make sure that water will equalize through the whole space. Pretty darn important. Now getting the layout for the IBC tote, very simple with wood, and then some cinder blocks, that's high enough, so we're gonna go from there. And that's Nor and Leo. In filling up from the pond. It takes quite a while, it's a small pump. And two days later, that compost pile out by the chicken yard is screaming hot just put the temp probe in and it's going up very, very quickly and topped out at around 150 Fahrenheit, around 65 centigrade. I made a really simple ramp out of a block of wood to get into the truck and figured out a system using the wheelbarrow. So I didn't walk on the wood, just basically brought it over, stepped in the truck and dumped. 
did a whole bunch of those. And that was a great way to load up the material so we could drive it over to our neighbor's spot and load it into the high tunnel. So hot. I mean, it looked like it was going to catch on fire, but I think that's just from the good thermophilic heat. This will provide a huge amount of heat in the walkway that we can pull off with that PEX tube and charge it into the IBC tote. And now I'm starting to bring in wheelbarrow load after wheelbarrow load into the space to bury that pipe in the central walkway. And pretty quickly it's becoming invisible and packing it down nice and tight. And it's got a nice look to it. And I think we'll get some charcoal and wood chips on top just to absorb any odors, but hopefully it starts providing some heat pretty darn soon. And then the PEX tube is laid in final position on top of that compost and that'll get covered with a bit more compost so we can capture all that heat and circulate it into the tank and through the walkways. Should be an interesting evolution in this project. Once we get this low tunnel skinned, which before I do that I'm going to fill uh, all of these beds with seed starting mix so we can really get things nice and organized before the plastic goes over. Once we get a skin on there, once we get the air pump and the solar set up to draw hot air down through this tube into the under side of all this and get the pump lined up to do water circulation, we'll make a follow-up video explaining how all those parts of the system are working and what sort of seeds we're getting going. I'm going to guess that'll be within a week we'll be there, uh, but for now let me know what sort of ideas you have or questions, feedback, what are we missing, uh, what other layers to this might be interesting to add in, and thanks for watching.